what's up guys off here back with another minecraft tour here on the bad X server and today we're at a pretty nice looking plot i really enjoyed this plot i i think yeah i think it was me who actually reviewed this one it was very long time ago and we had it moved to spawn a long time ago it's right next to mr spitz's uh plots over here um this one i just stood out to me a lot because it just the color palette is absolutely beautiful on this uh on these buildings here like uh, he has like the white stained clay as the base and it just looks like that really light pink-ish color and it just fits amazingly with the roofs with that. This is at, like actually I think the jungle and then the darkish newish wood that they have and it just outlines it absolutely perfectly. It's a bit like a steampunky house but not very steampunky. I don't know how I would say it. it's It's really nice though. Um, and I think detail detail is quite fine on it and just the color palette is just absolutely amazing and I myself want to do something with this type of kind of color palette it looks really really good um, this this build was made by uh, da -da, Martin do Martin do something like that Martin do 15 I'll have his name in the description um, but he has these these buildings here and then the one down here. This was I think a straight to the Ladari plot I'm not so sure uh, I don't think he did the interiors might have done simple tiny interiors nothing too crazy Yeah, very simple interiors. Oh, this actually goes up one more the sink then the bedroom and I think that pretty much ends right there Yeah, but mostly the the houses I would say just look really really good he was able to pack a lot of detail to the paths and stuff like that. Adding the weeds and stuff. Let's go ahead and head up on here. I think this is the windmill, right? Yeah, this is a windmill. He kind of made it seem somewhat realistic by adding like mechanics and stuff. Um, a lot of people don't do that, but it's kind of unique when people do little cool things. I like had to cut the building in half a little bit. I just noticed this thing's diagonal. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was at a uh, perfectly straight not diagonal well that looks pretty cool as well you had to cut it a bit because it wouldn't fit but oh well um the trees look quite nice as well i really like the trees they're kind of randomized it maybe you should have made them a bit more custom than just have it straight just one one lot you see like this one this one would be a lot more acceptable um let's see let's go ahead and head on this way go over this little bridge this is kind of like a little barn, I would say. It's, yeah, it's pretty much a little barn. Didn't have any interiors. It has... Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, anvil. Um, this is pretty much where the horses would be and stuff. And the hay bales and little tiny uh, water... What is it? Drinking fountain? I don't know what I would call that. Um, let's see... Yeah, but the palette around, like, I've never seen anybody use this palette, and it's just so good. I really, really like the palette on this. The, the darks and then the lights it just really make sense, and it just looks amazing. Let's go ahead and go up to the bigger ones. These are the most more nice-looking buildings. Just give it a nice look around the entire bit. Maybe not a bit too much of the fence and cobble stuff going on there. And like especially yeah and the curves because it really gives it a weird look when you do it a bit too much um as far as the roofs go that that's perfectly fine but maybe just a bit too much adding it there and there and there and there it's just kind of the same thing over and over but it just looks it looks really good all in all it looks really really good these don't have interior which is sad i wish you would have done interior um but they just look so good i really love these houses and it's like a it's like a steampunk fantasy I would say, just because of the color palette, it just gives it that really fantasy look. If it would have been more of a fantasy type of roof, than more of a steampunk one, then it would be more kind of like steampunk fantasy roof, or a steampunk fantasy theme. Um, but the, these houses all around look really really good, really like them. Yeah, they don't they don't have any interior whatsoever. Just go straight up there. And this one neither. I believe if there's even a doorway, I don't think. No, there's not even a doorway in this one. Yeah, I don't think so. And looks like something else was gonna be here, but he didn't actually do something, which is sad. But this one, this is all in all, really, really good build by Murdin, Murderin, what is his name? Mari, Marindu, Marindu. Very nice, nice job on this plot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did. Go ahead and leave a comment down below or leave a like on the video. Also, go ahead and leave 
your your IGN if you've done a plot on here and you want me to go check it out leave your IGN in the comment section below and I will go ahead and check it out myself and see if I could probably put it in a video or not um, depending on what you guys are showing me and pulling up to the table look this is pretty nice so this is kind of the same thing just over stacking the the uh, roofs and stuff like that and the thing is when doing a house like this it's really much nicer to just keep on stacking roofs to roofs and it's overlapping roofing roofing it, it, it gives a really nice look at the end when there's just a bunch of roofs overlapping each other. But yeah, don't forget guys to leave your IGN in the comment section below if you want me to go check out your plot. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.